Welcome back. Taking great holiday photos, whether on your phone or with a camera, can be confusing, especially when you have tree lights and the snowfall and probably some family members refusing to cooperate, or maybe those are just my issues. I'm not sure. But here with Santa's <laughs> Secrets to great pictures this season is professional photographer Amy Wimber. How are you? Good. It's good to have you back. Thanks for having me. Everybody takes so many pictures these days, and there are so many gizmos on your phone that help you, but it's sort of hard to figure out what what to focus on with all the different components. You say that lighting is the first thing we should think about. Yes. Tell me more about that. So lighting is super important. As a photographer, it's the first thing I look for. And my number one go-to is my natural light. And I try and avoid the flash if at all possible. But because? Well, sometimes you might not need it and it might overexpose your face or the right. subject. And you could get, um, the glare in your eyes and you can see the reflection in the window if there's a window behind you. So the natural lighting is really just the best. Is better. Yes. So when you're taking a picture and it's natural light, you need to know where the light's coming from, right? Which direction? Right. So you want to find about how we get our subjects where the light is coming towards them. So I normally look for a light source with a window. Um, I'll take my subjects outside and uh, shoot where the, if it's over, if it's, there's overcast, then you can shoot in the shade. If there's a lot of sun, then you're gonna find the shade. Um, and I just think that outdoor lighting is probably the way to go, but there is gonna be some times when you need to have a flash. And how do we know when that is? Well, you'll know when you take the photo and you can't and see you can't someone's see anybody. face. Okay, yes. let's take a look at some photos that have to do with holiday lights. So if you're okay. around tree yeah. lights or something like that, so um, this is the one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sue's dog, producer Sue, has Reggie, who looks like a devil dog because his eyes have she gone does red. She look possessed um, here. Yeah, and a I have bit. that problem too. I often have the red eyes in uh -huh. all of that. And then producer Susie and her husband Scott were at Enchant, and it was hard to get them and the lights and everything, you know, to see what you're looking at. So, right. um, how do you figure out? what to do in a situation like this. So in a situation like this with Susie, I would take um, my camera and use a flash. And I'd take a couple steps back away from her um, and I'd angle the camera down. Mm -hmm. And then you'd get her and her face and her husband's face properly exposed. And you'd also capture the lights in the background. So that's an idea you can shoot down or up on somebody with a flash and see if that, right. if that helps. Right. Okay, posing groups. Um, oh. Gosh, before we go there, tell me about these two photos. Oh, this is my friend Briny. In fact, last night we were at a holiday party and we took this photo in front of a Christmas tree and you can see to your left, uh, that photo is taken without a flash on my phone and on the right, uh, that photo is taken with a flash and you can just see there's proper exposure and she mm -hmm. looks great. So you can experiment a little bit yeah, with that. Yeah, play around, this experiment. This photo is beautiful. Oh, thank you. This is of my kids. Um, I didn't use a flash on this one. This is with my professional camera. I just used the lighting from the tree and had them facing my window. Mm -hmm. And so that's what really gave them all the light that they needed. And then, Whereas if you'd put them in front of the window, you the, know, back to yeah, the window, that wouldn't, wouldn't get that great light. How about this one? And this is taken at night, and it's just simply the lights from the tree that are bouncing off wow. um, and giving her that nice glow. That is just gorgeous. Okay, yes. so if you've got a group of people, mm -hmm. we have this all the time at work where we're trying to get everybody organized and, right. and getting us to pose. Oh, right, right. <laughs> in, a, in a flattering um, arrangement is not always easy. How do you pose people? So the best thing to do here is when you have large groups, I always suggest staggering people so that you're not all standing in a line. Okay. Um, and if there are some areas that you're just not too comfortable with showing, maybe have somebody stand in front of you or have um, a pose such as a side angle where your shoulder is in front. Um, oh, that's a nice one. And, or maybe just sit down and stagger a couple people around and get cozy with each but other. But they aren't all just lined up. Yeah. You've got people. Avoid lines. Just try and get, you know, in a huddle and get cozy as you can. Well, and I noticed you didn't put in that big group picture. It wasn't like tallest and then yeah. it, it was and it staggered across the back. Right. Locations. What do we look for in a location? That comes up yeah. a lot at Christmas card you know, oh, time right. you're going, oh my gosh, where should we go? Where to should we go to shoot? Um, well, right now it's really great with the snow in the mountains. Um, I suggest taking advantage of that. I just had a mini session up there recently and I had my clients play in the snow and captured some fun, authentic moments that aren't just always staged. Um, Look and at an, that. Oh yeah, so, so I, nice. I brought the sled out and they just had a great time. Um, and then 
Yeah, so she is would it hard at all because there's so much white in the picture? Um, another thing too is talk to clients about outfits. Maybe consider not wearing white if there's going to be a lot of white. Mm -hmm. Wear pops of color. Um, think about patterns and really understand what the surrounding is before you get dressed for that photo. Okay. Um, so now, since you mentioned what people are wearing, let's take a look at, at some photos. Um, do we do matchy-matchy outfits? Do we do a theme? Do we, what do we do? So here, my clients did some pops of color, which I really like, and they also have some patterns. And this photo, they kept it really simple, and they let the background, you know, do the pop of color, mm -hmm. which is great. And Staying away from logos and large prints can be really key because those can be distracting. Uh, well, that's but, nice because yeah. look at this one. They have a color in common, right. but it doesn't look like they all um, They're not were too exactly matchy, the matchy, same thing. They got the their theme. sports stuff in right. there and, and they did it. Right, so themes can be really fun too as long as they're well done and organized. Okay. Yeah. So we'll post your tips online and I want you to just add one more about portrait mode in our phones. Oh, sure. Um, and we'll put that online oh, and great. people can kind of review that and see if it helps with the photos this year. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for Appreciate having it. me. We've posted Amy's tips on our website just in time for all the holiday photos. And when we come back, a low stress way to throw a fabulous New Year's Eve party.